out from a senior recently. And let me tell you just something about uh, this young woman. She came to BC, and um, I, I actually didn't happen to have her in class, but I got to know her through somebody. And uh, we started a conversation about relationships and dating. And she was sort of a, she spent most of her, pretty much all of her years at BC here thus far hooking up or opting out. So if you've heard me speak before, you sort of know what I mean by that. And, um, and so but she would come and see me, and we'd talk, and she'd email me and say, eh, I think you're wrong. I, you know, I'm fine with this, whatever. And then, but then as it unfolded, she was clearly sort of getting more and more upset about her loneliness and sort of what was going on in her life. And in the past year, we've had con it's you. Conversations. <laughs> Meredith. It's conversations about her, her sort of loneliness at BC and her inability to really connect with people. And she's beginning to realize as a senior that possibly she's going to graduate from Boston College without really having the kind of intimate relationship that she wants. And, um, and here's what she wrote to me just last week. In the past, when I've trusted people, it definitely sucked. It's off to a good start. <laughs> I felt like they had just been using me to pass the time, and like they didn't actually care about me. I know that's not always the case, but I can't help the way it made me feel. It hurt, and I hate feeling that way. <coughs> and I have been thinking about this a lot lately, because there is someone I'm interested in, and I acted in a way to, toward them to make them think otherwise. We hooked up, and I pretended that I didn't care about it at all, because I didn't want to get hurt. Here's the line that hit me. This was the last line. She didn't even sign it. Please fix me. OK. Now, oh, I know. When you, as a person who cares about students, I got to say, when you, when you read something like that, it's really tragic. And, and I start to think, here I go on film. Oh, shit. We got to do something, right? So, but my problem is, I can't fix that. And, and, and I need her to try to fix that, right? And we can't fix this whole situation. Like, there's a culture that's setting the conditions, right, for this hookup culture that we're in. And we can't solve that. But what we can do is talk about it and have conversations that start here and then sort of move out to your dorm rooms and your apartments and your classrooms. And then maybe we together can sort of fix it for ourselves a little bit.